I don't know where I belong. I don't know whether they say D, R, I, whatever. I can tell you this. I belong to one team, the American team. So, Joe, you're going to leave the, do the, the presidential doors open. You're going to leave it open for the moment. I haven't closed anything, Larry, and I've kept everything open. I All haven't right. closed a thing, and I'm just looking at everything possible that helped my country. And that was West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin confirming that he could still join the 2024 race, even as the field is getting bigger. Uh, Tiana, your reaction to the field today on both sides of the aisle? As usual, the Republicans are better at building a backbench, right? We have a, a we have a good host of governors that do the media circuit, that learn how to just not be in their state. So that way, when Ron DeSantis or Kim Reynolds are forced to deal with a national electorate, they can. Democrats historically have been less good at doing this. They instead cling to their stars. It's why, under Barack Obama, who was probably one of the most popular presidents for his party in their generation, they lost all those state legislatures. They lost all those governor houses. Look, if I were running the DNC, I would have been trying to get Hakeem Jeffries on TV years ago, Jared, Jared Paulus on TV, you have Andy Bashir. You have a lot of local Democrats who know how to rally their base while not alienating those in the center. On a national level, it's a whole different show. You see that it's Joe and Kamala and then uh, Secretary Mayor Pete Buttigieg. And that's how you wind up with someone like Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who I think is a deeply unserious person. If you want to talk about someone who shares disinformation, it's not Donald Trump, it's RFK Jr. Yet he's still cleaning Biden's clock. He's getting, you know, almost a fifth of the vote in this primary polling against an incumbent president. That is disturbing, and it shows Biden's inherent weakness. Yeah, but he's saying things that many in the middle agree with. I mean, look, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. just showed up at the border. Uh, he's showing up President Biden and the so-called border czar Kamala Harris by making that trip to the southern border this week. He tweeted about it and sent a video. Uh, as things are not looking so good for the Biden campaign, the team and DNC out with new ads bragging about the president's so-called economic accomplishments. I'm trying to figure out what those accomplishments are. A Fox News poll reveals 65 percent of voters disapprove of Biden's handling of the economy. Cheryl, I mean, we're doing the economy every day. We know the reality of this economy. And, it's the and econ we're one step yeah. away from potential recession. It is the economy, stupid, and recession is still on the table, Maria. 90% in our new polls here at Fox News show, 90% are concerned about inflation, 85% on the Democratic side are concerned about inflation. Uh, look, you know, as far as Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and maybe an expanding pool on the Democratic side, and maybe that does include Joe Manchin, we shall see. Let's be clear here. The moderates, and Joe Biden was supposed to be a moderate, but once he got into office, he went so far to the left on climate change. Everything has to do with the climate. That's the crisis, not the border, not the economy. It's the climate that's the crisis, in his opinion. That, that has hurt him in his own polling. That makes him vulnerable politically. As far as the economy in a coming recession, uh, when you have an incumbent president that's going to be facing still a very difficult and, and uh, uneven uh, recovery that still is not well, technically a recovery at all, uh, again, that hurts this president. That makes him vulnerable. It'll be interesting to see how the Republicans uh, jump into this fray and if they can run uh, maybe a little more in the middle and pull some of those Democrats over to their side. Yeah, and so far, the Democrats do not want any debate about Joe Biden. I mean, Marion Williamson, Robert Kennedy Jr., they're wondering why they're not going to be on a debate stage, why it's all said and done. Joe Biden's the nominee. We'll see if that changes. We're two months away from the Republican primary debate in August.